Hello and welcome my dear friends. Welcome to another episode where I review vintage fountain pens. Today I have for you a beautiful, beautiful fountain pen made in Canada by the Parker Corporation. And I present to you the so-called Parker Duet. It is also known by the name of Premier Modern. It is also named the so-called Parker Thrift Pen or Depression Pen. It was produced only for one year or maximum two years in 1932, 1933 and 1934. Let me give you a perspective of this beautiful, beautiful fountain pen. You can see that the colors are amazing. Let me zoom even more. It is a combination between a green and a gold. I think this is the official term used to describe this pen. So this combination is called green and gold. And yes, it is green and it has some uh, gold reflections. You can see the imprint Parker on the distinctive clip. And on the barrel we have imprint. Let me read it to you. Fountain. And I hope you, you can see. US registered pen made in Canada patented. This guys is a quite simple fountain pen. It is a button filler. It means it, if you push this button here, a lever is pushed down the barrel and it squeezes a little ink sac, which creates the vacuum needed to fill it with ink. As uh, I told you guys, there are three types of the pressure pen or thrift time pens. The Duet, the Modern and the Premier. And today they are quite uh, rare because when they first entered the market they were offered as cheap pens and they were intended for the young buyers. But as you can see, they were quite, quite attractive. The appearance of this fountain pen has an interesting, interesting story. And it is related with the great genius of the marketing team of Parker USA. It is all related to the time when they appeared. So they have called depression pens because they appeared right after the Great Depression, the financial crack of the 1930s. Practically the Great Depression cut sales for all pen manufacturers dramatically and uh, many companies disappeared altogether. In the pen market, two things happened. The first one was that many manufacturers went bankrupt. And as a result, because of the liquidation sales, the market was flooded with low-priced pens. The great pen makers at that time sold their products, even their luxury products, their luxury lines, at discounted prices. Because of this, the profit margins were quite low. But Parker, the genius of the Parker company and what practically transformed the Parker company in uh, the greatest manufacturer of fountain pen in the USA post depression was they adopted other sales strategy. They did not want to hurt the brand name and reputation by selling expensive pens cheap. Guys, they had a flagship. Unfortunately, I don't have it in my collection. I have only some uh, vintage lookalikes. This was their flagship. It looked like this. And this is Mandarin yellow, uh, Mandarin um, orange, I'm sorry. <laughs> their uh, most interesting color also 
it was also one in yellow and it was like this this flagship the big duo fold had a price of 10 us dollars so this particular is a morton from new york a lever filler but i use it as a comparison and i have here also a lookalike from italy the scotland pen interesting combination the cap is flat and this has a cigar ending some uh, people suggested that this could be a replacement and in fact the original had also a flat ending i'm not so sure but again for you to have an idea th this was the dimension of their flagship pen a pen which i repeat was sold for ten dollars which was quite a large amount of money back in the 1930s like i said guys they didn't want to discount this fountain pen and now we go back in time and practically in early 1927 parker introduced the attractive and small ladies pens line called the pastel and this is a pastel this fountain pen had a price of only 3.50 dollars and it came in attractive attractive colors because parker rep replaced the hard rubber material with a new plastic name permanite remember this guys <laughs> so these were made of hard rubber and of course when they came out with colored ones like this it was an instant success for the ladies and for the other category of clients that preferred a colored writing instrument as you see this was a small replica of the big the great duo fold and it sold quite quite well so parker had the experience with this small fountain pen and what did they do in order to preserve those great flagships with a price of $10, they didn't discount them, first of all. And second of all, they launched this line. And this line was a cheap line sold for students. In fact, when they first sold those fountain pens, they didn't have a name for them. Only in time, they were known as the duets, or the cheap version of the duofold, the duets. It was interesting. They sold it in two sizes. This size that you see in front of you is considered the duet junior and had an 11.5 millimeters. And there was also a larger version called the duet senior and that had 12.5 millimeters quite quite interesting guys we have a model made in canada so you must know that the canadians the parker factory in canada produced two thrift time models similar in design and the duet junior like this one in front of you was marketed as the modern so this in front of you it is a modern thrift pen and the other one the larger one the duet senior was called premier this fountain pen guys sold for 3.75 dollars as a set so this fountain pen and a matching pencils and if you want to buy it separately this cost around three dollars the senior model sold for five dollars as a set but interesting the flagship the duo fold senior kept selling at ten dollars despite the depression because some people still had money to buy them if we look at this fountain pen you can see the simplicity and beauty of the material. I must tell you that it is quite rare to find a fountain pen like this in a great state, because like I told you, they were very popular among students. 
and thus and the fact that they are rather brittle and prone to ink discoloration it makes very hard for collectors to find them without bite marks or scratches so this is in pristine in pristine condition the cap on screws it reveals a beautiful beautiful nib let me give you a little zoom on it to read the inscription so we have parker pen and if we look closely we can see it was made in usa the nibs which is quite strange because most of the nibs that the canadian models were equipped came from england or the united kingdom but this is fitted with an american gold nib a 14 karat gold nib on the back we have the famous ebonite feed the parker feed it is shaped like a christmas tree as you can see i like the concave ending of the grip section as i told you this is a button filler and this is a success story this little one is a success story of the parker fountain pen company and although they were produced for a short time only maybe just for a year or two like i told you the strategy used by Parker, never discounting the top line spans, had paid off. And by the end of the Depression, the f American industry of pen manufacturers was dominated by four companies. In order of size, Parker was the greatest of them all, the biggest and uh, the most powerful. It was followed by Schaeffer, waterman and ever sharp i have here guys just for a comparison alami 2000 you can see it is a small small pen compared with the design of the lamy 2000 from 1967 i will put this aside and before i will leave the dimension i must tell you that this isn't the first time that a Parker thrift pen or a depression pen is reviewed on my channel. I have here a Franken pen and I will show you what I mean. You can see this is a simple black one, the celluloid black. It has the same clip. It has, you can see the same length, but the only difference is the nib of this fountain pen it was definitely replaced with a nib made in eastern europe uh, eastern germany it is a bear on two legs we see the same christmas tree feet and most important someone fitted it in its lifetime with a piston filler you can see the um, swallowing here it has definitely a cork a wooden cork and it was operated by this part so practically it was transformed from a button filler to a piston filler by a skilled uh, worker i don't know definitely not in working condition but it shows you that we have a frank campaign it also lacks this gold plated band here okay guys now i'm ready to leave on the screen the dimension of this modern duet junior fountain pen you already know that the length is 11.5 millimeters of course i will leave other uh, the dimensions including the dimensions of the barrel and after that we i will do the writing sample so i'm quite proud to have this fountain pen in my collection because it is very very important for the history of the parker company it is very rare it was produced for only two years 
in immaculate shape and I simply love this combination of green and gold. Let me leave the other fountain pens on the side. For the writing sample I will use this beautiful beautiful Mont Blanc ink. I'm not so sure but I think I it is functional and I didn't tell you the price of this fountain pen but I will uh, tell you when I will do the writing sample. So guys it's quite simple to see if a fountain pen like this is working. So most of this, those fountain pens need the sex to be replaced but I believe this model had the sex replaced. I will simply insert it in ink and push this button and you heard the bubbles this means that it feels okay and you definitely heard that sound of ink being thrown in the sack so it definitely works guys if you have an old fountain pen with this system and you push this button and you see this button is stuck please don't try to put more pressure on it it simply needs a good restoration so the inner sack needs to be exchanged and maybe the lever if it's in good condition doesn't need a replacement so only the sack but sometimes even the lever is corroded and it needs to be replaced okay guys let me close the ink bottle i will put the ink here remember this little fellow this little button let me show you if it can be posted yes it certainly can be posted but i don't recommend in time it will leave micro scratches so i will simply leave this beautiful cap here and i will change now the angle of the camera for you to have a better look at it okay this is perfect i have a beautiful parker maybe a little zoom would be appropriate okay parker call it like you you want but it is a duet and this particular model is a duet modern and i'm calling it a modern because it was made in canada okay you may also hear about this pen called a thrift pen because it was sold in thrift stores uh, at uh, low prices or a depression pen depression pen like i told you it was produced only in 1932 in 1933 and in early 1934 which makes it quite quite rare also known as the modern junior so junior or modern um, duet junior or simply modern this particular model it has the color combination color green green and gold it is equipped with a beautiful beautiful 14 carat parker gold nib made in usa i like the way it writes i believe it is an f nib f for fine let me show you if we have some flex to it no flex but definitely i can feel the little tines moving uh, and i'm quite quite curious let me show you the juicy quite quite a nice juicy nib let me see if it has some line variation so here no pressure 
and here a little bit of pressure and no no line variation but it has a feeling this nib uh, that uh, the tiles are moving let me give you a little zoom maybe you can notice something so you can see the tiles definitely are apart from each other so it's not quite a stiff nib a rigid nib it is quite quite an interesting interesting nib and it uh, certainly feels good certainly good enough to do a beautiful beautiful signature like you see here okay uh, okay let me see if i can reverse right with it and surprise surprise guys reverse writing a little bit of scratch but not annoying scratch definitely yes i should call it a yes and definitely an extra fine nib when you reverse right with it okay now it's time to tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog as you can see a real real nice writer i have to tell you that it has a superb nib a beautiful beautiful nib i'm not so sure about the story of the nib the fountain pen is made in Canada and I was told that the majority of the Canadian fountain pens were equipped with UK made nibs. This has a USA made nib. Interesting that it hasn't the hallmark of 14 karat but believe me after all this time this is not gold plated this is solid gold. Another interesting fountain pen that I am quite proud and you can see if it has some uh, discoloration marks here the cap is in beautiful beautiful shape and you can see the true colors of this great great beautiful beautiful fountain pen guys this was my review this is a piece of parker history and i'm quite quite honored for uh, having it in my collection I'm not so sure what I paid for it, but I believe it was around mm, definitely less than uh, 100 euros. So I will say I, I paid for it only 80 euros approximately or maybe 90 American dollars. But it was a very good price for a fountain pen with a gold nib and for a fountain pen that has this rich rich history and a fountain pen produced only in this year so quite quite a rare rare find in a beautiful beautiful shape guys thank you for your time wherever you are i wish you to have a nice day If you've enjoyed this small review of a wonderful Parker fountain pen and you want to see other vintage and new fountain pens reviewed, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I will see you again tomorrow with a new and exciting episode. Till then, please stay safe guys and God bless. Bye bye.